there guys, Portalmaster9351 here, and in today's video, we are going to be continuing with another episode of Ask Portalmaster. Now, you may, again, I don't know how many times I'm going to have to point this out until people are going to get the point across. I'm in a new place. I am in college now, and this is the recording studio here, and so videos for the next little bit are going to be here. Um, when I visit home, I will, of course, be making videos from home with my setup there, but, you know, um, I, I wanted to give a full explanation in this video um, just before we get into this, since this is for more of my dedicated fans rather than the casual fans. So, yeah, basically the room I'm in is in the middle of a library, and I, it's not soundproof. It's mostly soundproof. It's sound resistant. It's enclosed. So people can't hear me as long as I'm talking at a normal conversational voice. For those of you who don't know me in real life, this is still not even how I talk in real life. I'm still, I, I, I'm louder than this in real life. I am a very aggressive talker, and the way I talk in my videos is not actually that much louder than how I talk in real life. I almost won um, loudest in my senior class. There's this one kid who's a little bit louder than me, and my friends will know exactly who I'm talking about. My friends that watch these videos will know exactly who I'm talking about but he stole that title from me. Um, I got most likely to be famous, but that's that's irrelevant. That's that's another point. The point is I'm a very loud person, so this is weird for me to talk in this voice. Um, it's not very loud, and so it's just kind of a little off-putting. It's something we're going to have to get used to as an audience, and um, one thing I want to say, though, is if I ever do a rant video, I'm going home. I will, I will wait until I'm at home to do rant videos because I cannot yell. I can't yell in this room and because and people, people will hear me, but when I go home, I will be doing all of my rant videos while I'm at home so that you can get the full fury of Portal Master 9351 in all of his ranting uh, madness because I'm not that far away from home. I'm like two hours away. So I, I go home. I'll be going home every now and then. I'm actually going home next weekend, so I'm pretty excited for that and I, I'll try to find a video or I can yell at my full force um, and do that do that while I'm at home uh, next weekend. But anyways, let's let's dive into the questions that you guys asked me. This is Ask Portal Master. Um, I didn't think I was going to get another episode in this um, this month, but luckily I actually do manage to have enough time just barely to be able to get this video out. So without further ado, let's get to answering your questions. The first question comes from the Collector Creepypasta, and he asked me about my opinion on two different games. He asked me about the Spider-Man game coming out next month and the Super Smash Ultimate game that is coming out. He says in December, but I thought it was coming out in November. But anyway, I'll just go ahead and give my opinion on those two games. So Spider-Man is not really my thing. Those types of games, they look cool, like from a visual standpoint, but in all honesty, those are not my type of games. Those are not the games that I really and truly enjoy playing. That being said, um, Super Smash Bros. is definitely a game I'm looking into getting. I've actually never played Smash before, and that's kind of crazy. But that being said, a lot of my friends always have, and I am wanting to actually get in to a Smash game. And I feel like Smash Ultimate is a great time to do that, since I love the Nintendo Switch, and Smash Ultimate looks like it's going to be a great game. So with that in mind, I'm definitely going to be getting that game so that I can actually get into Smash and really experience that game franchise um, and see what it's all about. King M asked, what kind of phone do you have? This is an iPhone 10, and it's actually not the same iPhone 10 that I had when I recorded that last video. It's actually a funny story, you know, it's not a very long one, so I'll tell it right now. But basically, I went to sleep, you know, and that night, it was like 1.30 a.m., right? And so my phone is like, looks green. Not like this green, but pretty green. But it was 1.30 a.m., it was late, I thought my mind was seeing things and I thought the screen just looked more green than normal because I was sleep deprived. So I went to sleep and I woke up the next morning and the entire screen w was this color. Now I, I know green screens are cool but not when they're on your phone. I looked up the error. I was able to find a grand total of two other people in the entire history of this phone with the same issue. And I had to go to Verizon and I'm like, look y'all, this ain't normal. <laughs> and they were like, no, it's not. Let me get you a new phone. So it's a funny story there. But yeah, iPhone 10. It's not the same one that I had when I recorded that video. P D T Tube asks, are you really Mary Poppins? To that I say, I'm Mary Poppins, y'all! Davis Harper asks, if you could have one of the six Infinity Stones from Avengers Infinity War, space, time, mind, soul, reality, or power, which one would you choose and what would you do with it? 
So personally, I think the stone with the absolute most amount of power is the time stone. I mean, I know that the power stone can blow crap up and, you know, gives augments your physical powers. Obviously, the space stone lets you teleport. But with the power to manipulate time, you can do so many things. And honestly, I don't even know where I would start with the time stone. But the beauty of the time stone is that it doesn't even have paradoxes. And you don't even have to rewind time of the entire universe. Like, you would normally think that to travel through time, you wouldn't be able to isolate something. But, spoiler ahead, you know, at the end of Infinity War, Thanos is able to just turn back time just for Vision himself, not even for Scarlet Witch, just for Vision to before he was destroyed. With the power to take any object and manipulate where it is in its timeline is incredibly powerful, and if you think about it, that's got to be the most powerful Infinity Stone. So I don't know what I would do with it, but it's definitely the one that I would take out of the six. Skymaster3000 basically asked me, are you going to do a live stream anytime soon? Now, that's a weird question because I'm in college, and I obviously can't do a live stream from here. Now, one thing that I'll, I'll go ahead and say, my dorm room is not really a place where I can make videos. There's absolutely no soundproofing there, and I don't want to drive my roommates insane doing a live stream for two hours. So personally, I don't think I'll be doing a live stream from college, because in here, I would have to bring my entire setup, my laptop, my everything, and I don't do that right now. Right now, it's just my camera and my tripod. So right now, I don't think I can do a live stream from here. But that being said, I do think I'll be visiting, actually I know I'll be visiting home um, sometime in September, sometime in October, and then obviously Thanksgiving, and then I have like basically the entire month of December. And I honestly will probably start doing Ask Portal Master videos from home so that it's a bit more in character. I'll definitely be having some videos that I'm always going to be shooting at home just because of the environment being better. And I think these are going to be some of those videos, but I wanted to go ahead and get this one out before then. But anyways, to get back to the to get back to the main point, I do want to live stream at some point point. I can't say when, I can't say how soon, but I definitely will be doing one before Thanksgiving if all goes well. Portal Power TV brought up more of an interesting point than a question, but I did want to go ahead and read it anyways. He says, Starlink is either going to be really good or it's going to suck really bad. Definitely. I totally agree with you there, Portal Power. Starlink looks amazing. And I really, really, really want it to live up to the hype. But will it? That's the question. And honestly, I don't think we've gotten enough gameplay of it or even seen enough marketing for it to really know. And honestly, what I'm afraid of is going to happen with Starlink is that it's going to be a really amazing game and it's not going to sell. And the reason I think that might happen is because there's been virtually no marketing for it outside of E3. I mean, I feel like I'm the only one posting Starlink videos on YouTube, and sometimes I feel like the Skylanders community, what's left of it, and other Toys to Life communities, really the only people that care about Starlink, which is kind of off-putting, because when it was initially revealed back in 2017, there was a lot of the gaming community that was hyped up about it, but to be perfectly honest, no one seems to remember it. So I'm going to be really curious to see how that game does, and I'll definitely be covering that video when it comes out in October, or covering that game when it comes out in October, because it is a game that I'm very, very excited for. That Idiot asks, what, are your, what is your opinion on the Sonic the Hedgehog series? So, I've actually never played some of the more recent Sonic the Hedgehog games. That being said, I have played some of the originals, actually. Um, I had a collection on the PS2 that had a bunch of the original Sonic the Hedgehog games. And I always liked playing them. That was a game that I would, could play a lot when I was younger. So I definitely liked the originals, uh, original Sonic stuff. I played the Shadow the Hedgehog game, although I honestly don't remember a whole lot about it. I just remember that it was kind of weird and adulty, considering that it was a Sonic game. I also played, I honestly can't remember the name of it, it wasn't the Black Knight version of Sonic, but it was the other one that was like combat oriented, where he had like Excalibur, or maybe that was Black Knight, I don't know. I remember there being a fighting game with Sonic, and it was like not anything like the classic Sonic games. So I really appreciated the original Sonic games, but the later Sonic games didn't feel like Sonic the Hedgehog games, which always threw me off. But anyways, um, I guess the overall impressions of the franchise is pretty good. Gaming Nerd 1993 asks, if you could work on a new main Skylanders game, what would the gimmick be? I've said for a really, really long time that one of the coolest things that I thought always was, you know, with the Skylanders figures was figures that lit up. 
I always thought that characters that had effects in the real world were equally, were, were some of the coolest characters in existence. The giants are my favorite gimmick in terms of what they actually look like. The Swap Force is probably the coolest in terms of tech, but in terms of look, it's definitely the giants because of the fact that they, they light up. And, and the light cores are cool too, but the giants are bigger and that makes them, that makes them cooler. But it's like, I've always thought, you know, that's, that's always seemed like the coolest gimmick so far. So I've always thought the next logical step is to make figures that moved. If you can power a thing, a light at a distance, you can power a weak motor at a distance. And I always thought that that would be a cool little gimmick to include. Now, how would that work in game versus out of game? I honestly don't know. But that being said, figures that moved around, I've always said would be the coolest gimmick that could possibly be created. And I would love to see them somehow implement that if ever possible. Now I didn't have as many questions um, last this last month than than usual, so please do leave your questions down in the comments. Now typically I would do a mid month update, but I honestly forgot to stop myself in the middle, and I don't feel like editing stuff out um, to try to fit it in there. So I'm just going to do a little bit of discussion before we go. Like I said, obviously this is a big transition, and obviously beyond just having difference in recording location, you also have to take into account that, well, college is a different experience academically than high school, so it's an adjustment there as well, and I'm curious to see how that affects the amount of free time I have to actually shoot these videos. Now, I think that videos like Ask Portal Master and other videos that are maybe not necessarily news related might not be coming out as frequently as they normally would just due to time constraints. But news is something that I'm very dedicated to delivering to you guys as soon as I possibly can. I know that like the Spyro franchise, you know, the Spyro game was delayed. That that video obviously came out a couple like a week. It came out a week after the news broke. But that was just because I was getting adjusted to this new living area and I was planning on recording a video. I was planning on recording that video when the news about Academy broke anyways, I recorded those on the same day. So yeah, I just it's going to be an adjustment. And I, I really want to thank everyone who's bared with me so far and who's going to continue to bear with me over the next several months. Um, I, yeah, I don't know how this is going to affect the channel as a whole, but I do know that we've gained over a thousand subscribers since the start of the year. I have never once in a one year time frame, like 2016 to 2017, 2017 to 2018, I have never gained over a thousand subscribers in a year. But just between January 1st and I think August, today's the 26th, so August 25th, the time between January 1st and August 25th, I gained 1,000 subscribers, and we are just keeping on going. Honestly, I'm pretty confident that we can hit 3K before the year wraps up, and if that's the case, that's, that excites me a lot, and I can't wait to see what the future holds for this channel, even though change in location, change in style, we'll see how it goes. But anyways, thank you guys so much for bearing with me. Remember to leave your questions down in the comments below so that I can answer them in the next edition of Ask Portal Master. But like I said, that's all for now. This has been Portal Master 9351. Remember to like, comment, subscribe, and shout out to all my patrons on Patreon, especially Liam Corner, The Collector Creepypasta, and Portal Power TV. That's all for now. See you guys next time.